Hello and welcome to the 17th Advanced Blitz Plus tutorial by Orange Mint Network. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to fix several annoying bugs. Now first of all, if you are missing this code or you think you've got problems with it, then there is a copy which you can download on Dropbox and there's a link in the description. Okay, now the first fix that we will be making is one which came from a while ago. Just ignore that. Um, which was when you're progressing through the levels. So let's show you. So say I'm firing and I'm going to go onto the next level and I want to appear in the specific tile which I have set up. So let's just defeat this last spider and go on to the next level. Okay, now this is the next level and I want to appear in this tile here, however I'm here because the offset of the character has not been replaced and therefore to change this we're going to reset the characters x and y positions back to the center of the screen like they were initialized with the variables so we can just get this code here right click copy and then when we go on to the next level here we can add on this so it makes the character go back to the middle and we don't want to set it up as a global again because we've already done that. They won't let you do it again. Let's get rid of the global and then we'll just make set the direction to 1. So then you're automatically facing upwards. Okay, now let's run this. And you'll see that even though I'm, my character's more to the left of the screen, when I go on to the next level, I appear back in the middle like I'm supposed to. And the next bug which I'll be fixing is one which was just sort of laggy array firing. So even though I'm constantly hitting it down, sometimes they come and sometimes they don't. And also when you restart a level, you press enter, sometimes you have to press it a few times. And all we need to do for this is go down to the arrows function. And then instead of detecting if these things happen at the same time because it's key hit you're only hitting the key for a fractional time and so sometimes it will miss it and it won't fire an arrow so to fix this problem we split it into two if statements so if ammo is bigger than zero then as a separate if statement we can get rid of the and, and then we'll have an end if here and just move all the other code along to make it look neater and also for when you go to the next to restarting it that's right sorry when you restart a level and you press enter we'll make that into two the statements make sure you have then there and then indent save this Okay, and now let's run it, and now it detects firing much better. Okay, um, you need to change this health to be smaller than one, not bigger than one. That's just a little mistake. So now, let's see when I in these three lives. One, two, three. Now press enter, and immediately I go back to the start. However, you do not restart back in the starting position. And so to do this, what I am going to do is add above the different maps here. I'm going to add making the character go into the middle before it says that restart is zero. So we'll say if restart equals one, then end if, and then I can make the character x my position and also the frame go back to what they should be, and also we can make it so the 
it goes to the starting frame if it is 10. So I can copy this section of code here and add this to the loop. So uh, it detects if the tile is 10 and then changes the offset. And what I shall do is put this in the loop, the for loop, to go through all the different tiles. So I'll just copy this from the function here. Let's go back up to the variables and here it can go in the for loop. And let's end that off with next and another x, another next. Sorry. So now let's run this and you'll see let's lose three times two and three press enter and I should go back to the starting place. However, there's one fundamental flaw with the code in that once it's loaded the spawn point, it replaces that with a different tile, and so it'll never be able to spawn there again. So if we go down to when it detects the tile 10, which is the spawn point, it then goes back to being a grass tile, however I don't want this so I'll get rid of that so it stays a spawn tile, however all I'll do is just if it's 10 it'll stay as 10 but it will draw the grass so I can copy this because it's tile 1 I want to draw and now let's try running it so it will keep it so it knows what the respawn frame is it's presenter. and now I go back to the respawn frame so when you lose you go back to the starting position and the next glitch which came about from making the tiles which you can't collide with is when you lose and you lose a life and you reappear in the middle of the screen sometimes you may appear in middle of some of these collision tiles and we don't want that and so let's go to when you collide with the enemy and when it decides where to put you we're going to add some more onto the end of that so go into F enemy and we can go through the tile so I'll just copy the code for the tiles here go back to F enemy we can put this here and we'll end it with two next and then we're going to check if it is tile 2 or if it equals 3 in my case because I've got 5 different tiles for the water because I have various different curves so I use different images so I can have a nice smooth lakes so so the text if it's two or three or four or five or six then and let's do and if what it's going to do is it's going to detect if the player is colliding with this water tile after it's been put to its new place with you if images collide and then char, char x, char y and char f which is where it's being drawn but also we're going to put in the position of the tile so let's go to drawing tiles and just copy where it's being drawn it doesn't matter which image is the tile because they're all the same size and put a comma 1 because it wants a frame but there isn't a frame 
and if this is the case then respawn will equal 1 so it will go back to the respawn point. This is a new variable but we don't need to declare it as a global because it is only used in this function. Okay so now we've done that we can go ahead and look for the respawn point because we won't be able to put, look for it in here because we're already going through all the tiles themselves. So if respawn equals 1 then and we'll, I'll do and if and then we'll go through all the different tiles again and end them with a next and another next and now we're going to see if the tile is x y is 10 so this will be the respawn point then what we're going to do is we will make the character go back to the center of the screen which we have done in here so I can just copy that bit and put it in here so now the play will go back to the center of the screen and now I want the map to go to the respawn tile so I can copy this section and add it on here okay so now at the end of this I'll make respawn variable go back to zero until you need to respawn again and now we can just copy this whole section of code the new section and replace the old section so you just select the end if which we are replacing here and now let's save this and run it and let's go to this spider so usually when I would collide with it it put me back in the center of the screen however I'd be in the water but now it puts me back to my original tile but otherwise if it's not going to collide with any water then it will stay where it is so let's see that so let's just put a an enemy that would not make me go back into the middle so let's add one there okay so there you see it doesn't take me back to the spawn point because I wouldn't have been in the water and now what we need to do is make sure that the 10 where the player is respawning from which is not reset back to zero up here in the enemy variables as we copied before so we removed it from down in the program but we need to remove it here when you're restarting okay now when I run the program let's just shoot all these enemies now I'm on the next level so the respawn point was there press enter and I go back to my respawn point okay well thank you for watching this bit tutorial and I hope it's been useful in improving your program and if you need help with the code or anything feel free to ask me questions or to get the sample code from Dropbox which is the link in the description so I hope this has been useful remember to like comment and subscribe and I will have one more video after this which is just a thank you and a cool level show off and a few little um, helping tips which will already be included in the Dropbox file from this because the next tutorial was actually done before tutorial 15 because I came back and added these on afterwards so like comment and subscribe and I hope you find this useful and I'll be adding this to the game section of Orange Room Network where you can download the executable you can play it and I'll be designing some special levels just for you to play. So enjoy.